Once again, Russian President Vladimir Putin threatening to use nuclear weapons if he deems it necessary. In a blunt warning to the West, he says he's ready to, dis to deploy their use in if his country's sovereignty or independence is threatened. Now, this threat comes after a second straight day of apparent Ukrainian strikes within Russia, but Russia does not show any signs of giving up on its assault, restating that Ukraine will eventually need to accept a deal on Russian terms. Here's the latest. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Norwood. Ready for nuclear war, Russian President Vladimir Putin warning the West the country is capable and ready to use nuclear weapons if its sovereignty is put at stake. In a new interview on Russian state TV, Putin said he hoped the U.S. would refrain from actions that could trigger a nuclear conflict. I don't think we're rushing to it, but we are prepared for this, Putin says. It comes as Ukraine launched a massive drone attack on Russian infrastructure overnight, one of the biggest single attacks of its kind since the war began. With more than 60 drones, the Russian Defense Ministry says 58 drones were shot down. This is the second night in a row oil facilities have been hit. One refinery here seen on fire. Ukraine trying to disrupt Russia's war machine, hitting fuel supplies to the front line and its energy exports. Meanwhile, Ukraine reporting more attacks on their infrastructure and civilians. A Russian missile slamming into a residential building in an area south of Kyiv, killing three people and injuring dozens more. All of this ahead of Russia's presidential election this weekend. Since Putin changed the constitution, he can technically remain in power till 2036. The result is fairly certain, especially since major opposition figures are either in prison, exile or dead. One of the most prominent, Alexei Navalny, whose funeral earlier this month drew thousands of people. And in that interview, Putin also mentioned that he'd be willing to negotiate with Ukraine, but implied that it would need to be on Russia's terms.